Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As you can see, we've got lots of boxes in the garage, but that is for some future things, so definitely stay tuned for that. Today we're going to be taking out the 2017 Camaro SS and showing everybody what is wrong with the dash on that car. Now looking at the interior of this car, I can admit that they did a really good job on this interior. And in a lot of ways, you could probably say that they did everything right and it's perfect. But as a car channel, as somebody who needs to just mess with absolutely everything, I'm going to change something about this today. GM had to go ahead and release the ZL1 1LE with a carbon fiber dash panel. So as soon as I saw that, it caught my eye right away and I just had to have it. So today we're going to be installing the carbon fiber dash panel from the ZL1 1LE on the SS. And here it is. Well, everybody, after a month waiting for this thing, we finally got it. The carbon fiber ZL1 1LE dash panel. And isn't that a pretty sight? Okay, to do this job, you're gonna need a couple of things. An interior tool will definitely help. And seven millimeter socket extension, we're good to go. Okay, I would recommend using a towel or microfiber too. Just kind of put that over your shifter because we are gonna to have to pull out the radio and you just kind of want to set that down over top of here. And you don't want to scratch your screen. So just a little added protection. Now the first part about getting this radio out, you just want to take this little plastic piece that kind of goes around your buttons and basically just stick your interior tool kind of underneath where you can feel the seam. Get that underneath inside there and just kind of wiggle it and it pops out pretty easily. Okay, now that we got that out, there's a screw on either side here and you just stick your extension and socket in there and you'll be able to pull those seven millimeter bolts out. And what I do, I just kind of get them started and then you can just take your socket and extension and just kind of spin them out. And these bolts sometimes want to fall inside, then you got to kind of shake them out of the radio. So just be careful when you get to the end that you kind of walk them out a little bit so they don't fall inside and get trapped in a spot where they're hard to get at. Okay, our bolts are out. Just kind of lift up on the bottom of the radio and it only hooks in on the top with these plastic hooks. So. Now we're able to just kind of set this down here. Even with the wiring, mine doesn't even touch the shifter, but I think on some of the automatics, it is a lot closer. And what we need to do next is get this bolt right here out. That is actually the only bolt that holds this thing in. The rest is just a bunch of clips that go all the way around. So you'll find that none of these bolts are super tight. So when you put them back in, just keep that in mind. You don't want to put these in too tight and end up cracking the plastic or anything like that. Okay, that one is out. Now we're gonna stick our interior tool ever so carefully and get this thing started. Okay, to get this thing started, what I did is I kind of stuck my interior tool on the inside so we're not really prying against the dash or anything like that or even gonna damage this vinyl. So just kind of be careful, get going from the inside and just work them out one time and you'll get it out nice and easy. And there it is. Dash panel removed. So the next thing we need to do is get this vent out of our old dash panel. And all you need to do is a couple of clips in here. We just need to push them in and uh, we'll work it right out. The trick to this is just kind of keep pressure on it as you push these clips in. 
so they don't snap back into place. And once you get two of them going or so, it gets a little bit easier. A little help from a small screwdriver is always a good plan with this. And there we go, we got it removed. So now all we gotta do is put this into our new dash panel and we're ready to snap it back into place. All right, we got our new panel here. Just remember which way your vent goes, it's pretty self-explanatory. Snaps in there just like so, and we're ready to go back in the car. Okay, we're ready to put our new piece into place. It goes in exactly the same way the old one came out. Just kind of line up your clips, set it in place, and just snaps right in. And wow, already, what a difference. Like this just gives this dash a total new dimension of style. I absolutely love this new carbon dash. Get in there nice and snug. Now when you put your radio back in, just remember the top hooks go in first. And we'll reinstall our bolts. And as always, we're going to use the mechanic secret. Put a little piece of paper towel over top of your socket, then put your screw inside, and you're able to put it in any position without it falling out, which in this instance here will save you a lot of grief. Okay, you got those nicely snugged up. And look how that looks. Now we just put our trim piece back on, snaps right into place, just like so, and we're back together. All right, so the carbon dash is done and I'm super happy about that. And I just wanted to do a quick overview on my LED light system that I have under the hood because I know I said I was gonna do this before and I kind of ran out of time on the last video. So here we go. So what I did is I put the four inch strips underneath the back plastic piece. And what I did with the module is I put it right here above the washer bottle. So it's out of the heat, everything's good there. And I was actually able to use this push pin to go through the hole that's in the module to hold it in place. So it's nice and secure out of the way. And what I did is I took the wiring, followed it by the factory wiring and kind of looped it around. So I've got my ground on the ground terminal for the boost point and I got my power on the bottom side of the boost point for the positive. So everything is tucked away and out of the way. You can't see any of that kind of stuff. And it comes with a handlebar switch, which is kind of like a kill switch. It kills power to the entire system. Now I put that underneath here. Just click it on, system comes on. Obviously you can't see because it's too sunny out, but I have four strips underneath the back and I have two strips inside the cold air inductions intake. And at nighttime, as you guys have seen on other videos, it looks amazing. So I'm super happy with this system. If you guys want to get a system just like this, check out Op7. I will have their information in the description. And that's the underhood lighting. So it's a beautiful sunny day. Let's go for a drive and I'm gonna show you what this dash looks like in sunlight.
Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the installation of the carbon fiber dash on the 2017 Camaro SS. I know it's made a dramatic difference to the interior of this car. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and keep that hammer down.